Hey everybody, it's Marla from MarlaMeredith.com and today I'm sharing a fun craft with you. These awesome tie-dye patchwork pumpkins. Super easy and they make your house look beautiful. All you're going to need are some craft pumpkins, a tie-dye kit, Mod Podge, some thin white cotton or silk fabric, a paintbrush, and pretty ribbon. So recently I was in Round Top, Texas for the ultimate antique show there ever was. And it's everything an antiquer could possibly want. While there, I was super stoked. I finally got to meet the Junk Gypsies. That's been on my hot list for a long time. The girls are awesome. And their store, their boutique is out of this world. And so pretty much because of my awesome experience at Round Top with all the retro vibe, I wanted to get into this. I sort of channeled my love shack fancy shabby chic obsession when I worked on these pumpkins. I've made it really easy for you guys to get all these products. Simply head to the description after this video and click on the links. All right, away we go. First, cover your work surface with a plastic sheet. Be sure to wear some gloves as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our tie-dye colors. I'm all about the soft pinks, blues, and lavenders, but use whatever colors you love. This set comes with many to choose from, and you can make your own. Trim your fabric into the sections that you want to tie-dye different colors. For softer colors, go ahead and wet the fabric first. For darker colors, you don't really need to. Now start adding the rubber band resists to each piece of fabric. Remember that where the rubber bands are is going to stay the color of the fabric. Now start putting on your dye. Let your fabric sit for at least 30 minutes with the dye on it if you want pastel colors, but if you want to go darker, you can leave the dye setting for about 7 hours. When you feel like the dye has been on long enough, it's time to rinse the fabric in warm water, keep the rubber bands on, use some soap, get as much dye out as you can, then you can remove the rubber bands. Next, you're going to lay all that pretty tie dye out to dry. Next, go ahead and iron the fabric to take out any wrinkles. All right, so it's time to start Mod Podging our patches onto our pumpkins. We have all these beautiful tie-dye pieces that we made earlier, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is cut them into any shape you like, but squares, rectangles are super easy, and then we're just gonna lay them out and Mod Podge them onto the pumpkins. So when you apply your patches, you can either go tonal like this guy, or you can kind of mix up all the colors to do something a little more wacky. Cut your patches. Okay, don't worry, your cuts don't have to be perfect because you're gonna be layering everything. Okay, now it's Mod Podge time. Time to glue on these patches. And what I go ahead and do, I keep water nearby. Take some of this stuff. I kind of just have this plastic liner here. It's easy, kind of acts as my palette. Apply the Mod Podge to one side of the fabric. Then start sticking it onto the pumpkin. And this I've decided is going to be my colorful pumpkin. Still all blues and pinks because those are my favorite colors. And get the fabric as close as you can to the stem here. But we're going to end up putting some ribbon around the top anyway, so don't sweat it if you can't get too close. Now you're going to Mod Podge the ribbon to the top. Let the patches sit to dry for 30 minutes and then you can coat the whole pumpkin with another round of Mod Podge to seal it and let that set for two hours. 
I hope you had fun crafting with me today, and I also hope you can try this real soon. Be sure to follow me at MarlaMeredith.com and all over the web.